Welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast with Manuel Suarez, CEO of Attention Grabbing Media and author of number one bestseller, Marketing Magic. The game of marketing revolves around you stay in present time and change with the changes. Because it's like, I like to describe the overall conquering of attention is writing opportunity waves. You're not going to make opportunities on marketing. You're going to discover them and get on top of them so you can take advantage of them and ride these opportunity waves. And they change. TikTok was not an opportunity five years ago. It is an opportunity now to get attention on that platform. Same thing with Facebook. Same thing with Instagram. Same thing with YouTube. They change over the years. In 2006, YouTube was a much bigger opportunity than it is right now. It's still very important, but it was much, much bigger and easier to penetrate back then. We actually started our YouTube channel in 2012. It is the largest health educational channel on the planet for Latin America right now. But we started early in the game. Dr. Burke has the fourth largest educational channel on the planet. Why is that? He started early in the game. He was able to conquer it and he's also really good. But now his timing was great. To start, even let's say that you have the exact Dr. Bird superpower and you are like a, a clone of Dr. Bird. You're not going to be able to succeed at the same level that he did because the opportunity has changed. So you have to like think about what is your opportunity right now? How can you get the most attention at the lowest cost right now? So you got to stay in present time, right? So right now, radio doesn't have a lot of attention. People go to their uh, their vehicles and they plug in their cell phones and they do Bluetooth or they do Apple CarPlay or Google Play or whatever it is. And then they'll be listening to podcast shows or audiobooks. That's where content consumption is happening. The newspaper, magazines, and so on, same thing. Whenever I go to my driveway and I see uh, a newspaper on the uh, on the driveway floor, for me, it's not a newspaper. It's litter. So my viewpoint is different. I just pick it up and I throw it in the garbage. It is annoying. It's developed traffic. I don't want it in my space. So all those people that are being told, oh, we get 10,000 impressions. No, you get 10,000 people that are annoying with the newspaper. They pick it up and drop it in the trash. So people stay in present time. Don't be operating with the same way that you operated 10 years ago because you're going to waste your advertising dollars. you got to think with the present. If you don't do so, you're going to be doing all these campaigns and coupons and whatever it is and nobody's paying attention. So now we start getting in trouble. Uh, email is still the opportunity. I did an email line is very, very important. Phone numbers is even a bigger opportunity if you go calm line. What's happening on the Text messaging world, whenever you send out text messages, people are going to open them at 90% or more. When you compare that with uh, emails, uh, you're looking at 20%. Our most important channel is text messages. If I send 100 text messages, there's a 10% chance that some people don't find out about this particular event. It's 90% probabilities of opening up those messages. So still today, 2024, if you have a contact list of phone numbers, this is where you start. So again, we're figuring out the superpower. I'm going to show you a couple more quotes on this subject in a second. What is your ability to help people impact the world? I started building my businesses using my communication lines. It all started with my lines. You have to go through a process. All of you should go for a process as an experiment. What are your current comm lines? You'll be surprised how many comm lines you actually have. And these are actual call blinds. So here's a question for you. Who feels they have the ability to help somebody else with their products or services? If you feel you have the ability to impact the life of somebody else, it would be irresponsible of you to not do everything in your power to help somebody else. Because you can change the life of somebody else positively. You have to be willing to communicate to people because you know you can help them. So once you have a list of people that you know are your calm lights, then you have to start communicating. One of my biggest secrets of success 
it's my ability to communicate and just get on the complex. Like, how did you think that I ended up getting clients like Chick Corea and Nancy Cartwright and Tom Cummins and uh, Dr. Berg and Damon John and the list goes on and on. I was able to use comm lines to get myself in front of them to communicate, 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 communicate until I got their attention. In my company, my marketing agency, I have a policy when it comes to how do we service our clients and how do we address their comm lines, the block or buy policy. I basically feel so committed with the people that I actually help their businesses and their abilities to help the light of somebody else that I tell them, listen, we're going to communicate to your call lines, social media, phone numbers, emails, you name it. And they're either going to buy your products or block you. Block or buy policy, right? So you have to be willing to communicate. If you want to grow, if you want to expand, that willingness to make yourself uncomfortable has to be in place. It's not going to be accidental. You're never going to have somebody that says like, oh my God, look at the business I built. I'm, I'm so lucky. Wow. I don't know how I got here, right? Like somebody gets to the top of the mountain. They're climbing to the top of the mountain. They're like, wow, look at this. I have no idea how I got to the top of the mountain. Ha, this is incredible. You have to be able to cross those barriers, considerations that you're putting yourself there. You are putting them yourself. Success is largely dependent on your ability to communicate. If you do communicate, you eventually get business. There are people all on the way. Many people. They close the door on me. That's all part of it. They rejected me. They denied. They said, no, thank you. And now they look at my success and they're like, man, I wish I would have taken him up on his offer earlier. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the process. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.